Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of the butchery business and today we are going to talk about the licenses you need when starting this business and how to price your meat. And we have been talking about the butchery business, we have been talking about where to get your meat, how the materials you need, mm -hmm. what else have we been talking about? We, we said we are going to be talking about licenses but we talk about the equipment you need like mm -hmm. weighing machines, mm -hmm. Pangas, at the, at the locations where the you locations, can set your business, the capitals. Yeah. So in this episode, we are going to be talking about other factors that you might consider when starting the business, and that is the license mm -hmm. and the pricing. So when we talk about licenses, we have two licenses that are very crucial when starting this business, mm -hmm. and one of the licenses is the food and hygiene license. Yeah, yeah. Tell us more about the food and hygiene license. Yeah, because the government has to make sure that whatever you are selling mm -hmm. is in good condition mm -hmm. and you yourself, you are a clean individual, mm -hmm. especially when you're dealing with any type of food, yeah. like the meat, which is not an exclusion in food business. We have talked about capital, mm -hmm. we have talked about uh, the market, marketing and advertising yourself, mm -hmm. and yeah, we have been talking about a lot of things. So in this second part, we are going to talk about the type of licenses you need and how to price your meat. So number one, there is, when you talk about licenses, there are some types of licenses, there are different types of licenses you need when starting this business. One of the licenses you need is a food, food and hygiene license. This is often uh, issued by a public health person. Mm -hmm. So you need to have this license so that you can maintain the standard hygiene that is required when starting this business. Yeah. The license is usually issued by the public health person. Yeah, you have to be very clean, especially when you're dealing with something that people are going to be consuming mm -hmm. because people's stomach are very sensitive especially when you're dealing with meat. Yeah, because no one really wants to be served by a person who have that long nails. Yeah. yeah, and the place is full of flies. Mm -hmm. So it's, hygiene is something that you really should observe. The other license you need is the county business permit. This one ranges from 5,000 to 20,000, depending on the location. Mm -hmm. If you are placing like, if you are starting a business in a place like Kileleshwa, obviously the licenses would be higher than the person who is starting in, in uh, Lavington. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Kibera, in, in Kibera. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing you need to consider is pricing. How do you price your meat? And th the pricing is really considerate of three things, the location, the size, and the standard. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about location, it depends with where you're setting your business. I cannot, uh, if you're living in Lovington, the mm -hmm. money I will charge you uh, is not the same money I will charge for someone who's living in Kibera. Mm -hmm. Because for those people in Lovington, obviously we expect them to have money yeah so we will ask for them two thousand yeah yeah and also you're trying to cover for the expenses because expenses at lovington mm -hmm. it's they are high comparing to the ones in kibera yeah yeah and then when you talk about size there are two types of people there are people who want meat to be measured in terms of kg and mm -hmm. others they want to be ta the, the meat to be measured in terms of the amount of money they have so someone will be asking for two a meat that is 200 for 200 shillings 500 shillings and there is another person who will be asking for 500 kgs yeah. 100 kgs yeah. 1 kg depending on the occasion mm -hmm. or maybe what the person yeah de definitely you need to consider the size when you're talking about pricing yeah. and then another thing is the in terms of standard when we're talking about standard we are, we are looking at the quality the life like quality of life how has how is it mm -hmm. yeah the quality of the meat or? yeah the standards the quality of the meat i mean oh okay. yeah so ha i think when talking about quality you mm -hmm. can also talk about the type of meat you're selling maybe yeah, yeah, someone wants to, maybe they want to buy maybe the liver mm -hmm. it's a little bit expensive compared to someone who maybe want to buy mm -hmm. intestines mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that is the that is what we say when you're considering about the standard of the meat mm -hmm. we are talking about what type of meat are you selling? Are you selling livers? Are you selling intestines? Are you selling pork? Are you selling the head? I hope you have learned a thing or two. If you're already in this business, you can comment in the comment section. Tell us how is your business? How, how, what are some of the tips that you would like us to share? And we will really appreciate. And make sure that at the end of this video, you like, comment, and subscribe. Watch out for more coming videos. Hit on the notification button so that every time we upload a new video, you can also be notified. Until next time, goodbye.